So thinking about moving to the Pacific Palisades, but not quite sure what it's like compared to Brentwood, Beverly Hills or Santa Monica. Why do all the celebs move here? Well, today in this video, I'm going to find out why so many polls say the Pacific Palisades is the best place to live in Southern California. All right, let's get to the video. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a realtor here in LA. If you're looking to make a move in the next nine or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text. Always happy to help. And uh, if you're looking to learn more about what it's like to live in LA, uh, please subscribe. I do videos on a weekly basis showing you all the little neighborhoods and best places to live in this great city. So uh, hope to see you along the ride. The Pacific Palisades has a population of around 24,000 people. It's nestled in between Brentwood, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills. So if that's where you work, it's a perfect location to live. There's a lot to do. If you're an outdoorsy person, you've got the amazing hikes. You've got a world-class golf course, $300,000 to join. There's a huge amount of things to do here. The shops, the, the village that I'm in right now is absolutely incredible. Uh, restaurants, coffee shops, you should see the cars here. Um, obviously a lot of money. You need really north of $5 million to move into this neighborhood. What I like about it is there's a bunch of different neighborhoods within Pacific Palisades. I'll be showing you those later, starting with the alphabet streets. I bet you can work out how that works. Um, so yeah, let's go check out the beaches, the neighborhood, see what you can get. Talk about the schools, the crime, the homeless. So uh, let's go take a look. So the first thing I love about the Pacific Palisades, not everywhere has this, is kind of a central point that you can go to for shops, for your coffee, for restaurants. Um, Brentwood does have it, the market over there in Brentwood, but it's quite small. Um, Pacific Palisades is a lot more trendy, a lot more high brow, if you ask me, high class. Just need to look at it here. Um, it's really relaxing and peaceful, well looked after. So. Um, the first big plus for me um, is kind of this little neighborhood right here. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, Pacific Palisades kind of goes under the radar a little bit. You always hear about Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, Brentwood. These are kind of the famous spots. And for some reason, Pacific Palisades, like I said, goes under the radar. And I'm sure the, uh, the people who live here love that. Definitely less tourists than Santa Monica. Uh, Beverly Hills, but you're close to the beaches, just a short 10 minute drive from Santa Monica. You work or uh, in Beverly Hills, it's not far. And I just feel, it doesn't really feel like Los Angeles, to be honest. It's peaceful, it's quiet. Um, I can't wait to show you the neighborhoods. Um, really, really good place. All right, let's go look at the neighborhoods and the homes. You've got the Alphabet Streets, you've got the Bluffs, you've got Rustic Canyon, obviously the Riviera with the $9 million plus homes. And like I said, you need about 4.5 million to buy in. But depending on what neighborhood you are in, different size lots, different size homes. Okay, so here we are on one of the Alphabet Streets. We're on Hartzell, so H. Um, streets are a little narrower here. You don't get the wide streets like you do in some of the other neighborhoods in the Pacific Palisades. What I do love about here is your walking distance to the Palisades Village, um, which is just, you know, that's worth a million dollars right there if you ask me. Um, the lots are a little smaller on the Alphabet Streets. You're looking at about five and a half to 8,000 square foot. Obviously the different areas, you can go all the way up to acres depending on what your budget is, but lots are a little bit smaller. Um, and there's all types of homes to buy in here. You need at least four and a half million, really. Um, but you've got the new builds going up, as you can see, a lot of white new builds. That seems to be the, uh, the in thing right now, these uh, beautiful white, it's like East Coast vibe homes. Um, they are beautiful. Obviously, you've got the great curb appeal here. People take a lot of pride in their homes. Um, you do have smaller homes as well. They're not massive homes here. Um, 2,000 square foot homes, all the way up to probably three to four. But you don't have your ginormous monster homes that we're gonna see later. Palisades, I would say, is more expensive than Santa Monica. Um, about the same as Brentwood, but cheaper than Bel Air or Beverly Hills. 
Um, but look, you've got these beautiful, beautiful tree lined street here. Um, homelessness is not really an issue. Lots of parts of LA, it's kind of out of control, even in expensive areas. Even Brentwood has a little bit of homeless. Santa Monica, obviously a lot. Um, Pacific Palisades, they seem to have it under control. New home being built. Um, so yeah, the Alphabet Streets, if you're looking to move here, it's funny when I say entry level, <laughs> but four to five million dollar budget. Um, Alphabet Streets, this neighborhood, like I said, walking distance to um, all the shops and the restaurants and the bars, great schools, good family vibe, big fan of it. And uh, yeah, you should definitely check it out. So about a seven minute drive from the Alphabet Streets. We're now in the bluff section, uh, south of Sunset near the Palisades High School. To get into this neighborhood, there are some older homes, so you can actually get in for around three million, but that would be a fixer. Um, ideally, you need about five to eight million dollars to get into this neighborhood. Um, but as you can see, the streets are wider here, um, more of a family vibe. It really has great schools, as you can see here, private schools and public schools, really known for that. Um, the lots are slightly bigger, and then the alphabet streets here. Not massive, there's bigger areas, which I'll show you, but the lots are bigger. Once again, got a lot of new builds, but you also have, like I said, the smaller homes that you could probably get for around three, three and a half million, but they would need a lot of work. And look at this, guys. If you're thinking about moving to California, what is it, middle of November? Look at these beautiful skies. You're about 15 degrees cooler than, say, Pasadena, Silver Lake, Los Feliz, Burbank, that neighborhood. Um, and you know in the summer it can get really hot, uh, so the ocean breeze really does help. There's lots of different homes, different array. If you like the big white uh, homes, they're obviously there for you. But if you like uh, Spanish craftsmen, Cape Cods, what I love about Los Angeles, to be honest, there is such an array of different homes. There's no cookie cutter real neighborhoods, to be honest. Here you have the older vibe home. And then right next door, you have this beautiful, this home could definitely be on the East Coast. <laughs> okay, let's go check out Rustic Canyon. The homes can be a little bit smaller than in these neighborhoods, but you've got the larger lots. Uh, you're starting to get the most amazing views, which is why the prices of homes go up. And if you're liking this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week to different neighborhoods in LA County. So if you are looking to make a move from out of state or just moving within the county, please reach out. Uh, my information's in the description below. I have people reaching out all the time and I love to help them. So yeah, happy to help. So now we're in Rustic Canyon, um, and it really doesn't feel like LA. And people think we don't get seasons here. Well, you see these colors coming in right now? We're definitely getting some seasons. Um, so yeah, Rustic Canyon. Homes are a little bit cheaper, actually. Three to six million. They're a little bit smaller, um, but you have bigger lots here. Um, as you can see, yes, there's some new builds, but there's a lot. it's a lot older vibe here. People move in and don't necessarily move out of their homes for a long time. Um, as you can see here, smaller homes, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're any cheaper. Um, yeah, you get the big homes as well. And don't get me wrong, Rustic Canyon um, has a lot of new builds coming in, a lot of development, but it still has that old time feeling. Um, a lot of homes are untouched. Um, you go into a lot of the areas right now in Pacific Palisades, Brentwood, Santa Monica, a lot of buildings going up, a lot of money coming in. Uh, but in Rustin Canyon area, uh, still true to themselves, still a lot of homes that were built decades ago, 50s and 60s, that still stand. So if you're looking for more of a, a vibe where the history is still here, definitely check out Rustic Canyon. There's a lot of HOAs actually uh, in Pacific Palisades that don't allow you necessarily to knock down a, a home and build some modern monster on it. So definitely check when you're moving into the neighborhood and you're buying a tear down and you want to build a new monstrosity, um, definitely check with the city because sometimes um, 
it's not always allowed. This nice little ranch style home. You know, for example, if you bought that home, definitely check first of all that you're allowed to knock it down and, and build whatever you want. You probably are in this neighborhood, but I would definitely check. It's not always a slam dunk that you can knock down a home in Pacific Palisades and build whatever you want. And nearby, you've got the Great Hikes, uh, Temescal Canyon, beautiful loop. And if you want to do an amazing drive, Brentwood uh, to Pacific Palisades, Put the hood down and drive there. Look at the beautiful homes and neighborhoods. Uh, maybe Maholland Drive, if you ask me, might be a slightly better drive. But, uh, oh, the, the communities here and everything to check out is absolutely beautiful. So even if you don't want to live here or don't want to check it out, I would highly recommend driving through it, uh, especially in the evening, some of the views from the, uh, the Riviera section. Oh, definitely worth it. And you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Like You feel like you're not in Los Angeles yet. Really, you're very close by. Like, if you live in Beverly Hills, you live in Santa Monica, I feel as though you feel like you're in LA. Here right now, look, there's all these trees, it's quiet, there's not much local traffic, there's no tourists. Um, it's a real good family community. You're close enough to get into the city if you do have activities with the kids, but you're in you're in heaven, really. I always spoke about how I thought Brentwood might be the premier place in terms of bang for your buck when living in Los Angeles. But now I have a feeling Pacific Palisades has just taken top spot. Um, so yeah, basically, if I had any amount of money and I could live anywhere I wanted, Pacific Palisades, they're the winner. Okay, let's head off now to the final destination, the Riviera. Average house is about $9 million. You get the views, the bigger lots, the bigger homes. Well worth the look. Uh, let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are in the Riviera, the most exclusive and expensive part of the Pacific Palisades. You better have $9 million minimum if you're looking to buy into this neighborhood. Um, there's a home here actually for sale, which I will show you. It's five bedrooms. 7,600 square foot on just over an eight, a third of an acre of land and it's on the market for $13 million. You're still only about two miles from all the uh, shops and restaurants of the town center. But I think people love it here is that you're closer to LA. You're about 10 to 15 minutes closer, obviously for your commute, that makes a big difference. But the curb appeal of this neighborhood the tree-lined streets, the gardeners are out keeping everything looking good. Um, so the appeal here is obviously huge. And you don't just have the large homes, you also have the large lots. Uh, where we just were, Alphabet uh, streets, bluff um, area, you're looking five to 8,000 square foot lots. Here you can have lots up to 17,000 square foot average and they can go even bigger. Plus, you have the amazing views. Obviously, no homeless. Um, and the schools where there's money, there's the best schools in the country, and that's what the Palisades is known for. So, if you're looking to upgrade to a big home or you're moving out of state from your three, 4,000 square foot home, and that's kind of what you want to live in, check out the Pacific Palisades. The location for me, unbelievable. You get the beach life, but it's also secluded, which is why a lot of celebrities like it. You're not too far from Beverly Hills, Santa Monica. So if you have a big budget and you're looking to move into arguably one of the nicest places in the whole of the country, check out the Pacific Palisades. I think you'll be extremely impressed with what you have to see. Um, if you do want to check it out, give me a call. Like I said, I'm always helping people. Love it when you call me. Um, I can take you to the neighborhoods, give you the insight that I know. Um, always happy to help. So I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a realtor here in LA. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe so you get to see my new video tours. And uh, I'll see you at the next video.